you know, I was really dreading. I mean, we just moved into this condo and it's like, what, are, what else are we going to find that's going wrong? Because remember, remember if you were watching before, I was, uh, I couldn't get any of the coaxial cables for any of the TVs to work inside the condo. So I had to run a coaxial cable. I, I don't even know if I showed you. Yeah, I, I probably showed you that. On, yeah, on what I had to do in this room and all that kind of stuff. And we were hoping to only have to do it over here. We'll come to find out now that the cable company, we might not be able to stream that TV from this location over to another TV, over to another TV downstairs by just plugging it into the electrical outlet. We may end up having to run coaxial cables uh, from that location over there over to this TV. And no, no, no attic space. No, I, I mean, you know, there's a ceiling underneath here. So, so guess what I may have to do on that? Just, just for kicks, you're going to, you're going to think, Oh, are you nuts? Hey, there might not be any other way to do it. If we cannot get that TV to stream over, uh, you know, just by plugging it into an electrical outlet, that's how we could have, that's how we did it. Used to do it on um, our TVs at, at, at our other house, but not over here. So where the coaxial cable comes up from the floor, up out of the floor, underneath this bed, I'm going to have to pull the bed apart and uh, have the cable company come, cut that. Remember, I, I allowed some extra there. I pushed it down in, underneath the floor in case we ever needed it for any unknown reason. He can pull that out, put a splitter box on there, a two-way splitter, right? And then, yes... He's going to have to give me a whole long cord and I'm going to have to measure it. Kaboom. I'm going to have to fish it between the carpet, gently between the carpet and underneath the baseboard. Follow that wall. Along here. Along here. Yeah, I'm not kidding. Along there. Along. That's going to be a tricky one. Because you only have the gap between the, the tack strip. You only got that gap for the carpet. And it, and it fits right between that and the tile. So I'm going to have to fish it through there. Boom, ba boom, ba boom. Just follow it around the wall. Yes, over here, inside that closet, around, over, boom, cross, cross this opening where the other bathroom is, cross there, cross there, underneath this bed. Boom, 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 boom. I may take the bed apart or, or come up and then just leave it loose underneath the bed from here over to there and then keep going over to that wall over this wall over this wall back behind here and have it come up out of the floor and then up to a cable box can you believe that can you believe that i may have to do that and the one downstairs luckily um we've got uh a crawl space underneath this floor and so if if she really wants, I was trying to talk her out of not having a TV down here. I said, do we really true, truthfully need to have a TV down here? Well, she wants a TV down here. So I'll have to drill a little 3 8 hole, you know, on the back, um, right down. Normally what I try to do is cut a, cut a hole in the wall and then drill a hole down there. But this is a tenant separation wall between us and the next, and the next condo owner. And so it's a little bit different on this wall than any other thing, especially underneath the condo. I might not be able to fish my wire into a cut-in box, into a coaxial cable box and all that kind of stuff. And so I, I think I'm going to have to drill a hole directly flush with the baseboard, directly down into this floor, okay? And then down. And then if you will recall, we put this, um, this vinyl flooring down here. What is that? I was wondering what that was. Ah! The cat, the cat has, has her toys and she brings them around and sometimes she delivers them to us and stuff. <laughs> if you will remember, we put this flooring down and so I'm going to have to use a quarter round trim at, you know, along here. And um, I could notch the back side of that where the, where the uh, wire is. And then the wire will just, just be hidden behind whatever we put, whatever we put up against the wall, right? And then it will come up. And then from there, we have to go, I have to crawl around underneath the house over here to where the garage is. Because remember the coaxial cables 
uh, coming in from the garage. It's, it's coming in. Usually it comes in from outside. Well, no. This one, all the coaxial cables are behind this box, not this. I would have thought it was this box, but it's not. I think that's telephones. And uh, initially, um, years ago, there no coaxial cables in there. All the coaxial cables are right there. The one coming in from the street and then the four going out to the condo. Of all those four, none of them were working. So remember, before I, I fished the wire up, down, or down this wall, up to there, ran it, zipped it around, around there, drilled a hole up in there, and then that goes up underneath the bed. See? And, and so, and so the one that I have to get in from downstairs, I'll have to, I'll have to come across and see, I've got crawl space underneath here, but not in the garage because this is a concrete floor, right? So, so because, because this is on the wall right there, I'm, I, it, it's going to be like, okay, how on earth am I going to, am I going to get to that? And, and actually, you know what, that's on the exterior of the wall because remember, this is the electrical panel that's countersunk into the wall next to the front door. And so I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to come in somewhere along this wall, wherever it stops. See, and, the, and I got a crawl hole underneath the, the floor in a, in, down in this, in this closet, there's a nice crawl hole right there. And so see, I can, I can, cr I can crawl all the way over and, and this, I can crawl all the way to this point, right? And so I'm gonna have to figure out, okay, how am I going to get that wire from here into the garage without seeing it? Because the last thing I wanna do is see the wire, right? And so lucky for me, I've gotta put that, quart, that three quarter inch, uh, quarter round trim down here. So that means I got three quarters of an inch from the floor up. Right? So I can drill a hole flush with the baseboard and drill a hole just big enough to get that wire down there, 3 8 inch or a little bit smaller. And then as I fish the wire up, then I'm going to have to make an immediate 90 degree angle through here, 3 quarters of an inch. I've got 3 quarters of an inch only. You know what I mean? where that quarter round trim's gonna be. So I can, I can get it up off the floor just barely, right? And, and then pull it up, pull up enough, and then zip it out through there and have a nice tight 90 degree angle and have it go right out there, wherever, wherever that is, um, it's, gonna be, it's gonna be coming out of this sheet rocks, this sheet rock right here, okay? probably coming out right in here somewhere. Then it's gonna come out. Then I'm gonna to have to go across, go up this, go across. And um, I, I, could, I could take it straight up here, across, go down through my cut-in box that I already have up there, and then come back down. Or I could go across, up, over, across, and then cut a hole and sneak it down behind this blank plate. Or I can pull a blank plate off and cut just a little groove in the sheetrock and then have it kind of push down in the groove of the sheetrock back behind the blank plate. I've done that before and it looks pretty good. Okay, something like that and then get the coaxial cables for the TV. Son of a gun and every, every, you know, I thought that was gonna be the worst thing that happened and then we got the leak. Then we got the, the leak, and I'm like, did we buy a lemon of a condo? What the deal? What's the deal? And I'm glad when that water was poking out of there, I'm glad um, I was able to push this back up and see this is a couple days later, and this isn't puckered at all. I can caulk that, caulk that, fix that, touch that up with some paint. There's a little hairline crack right there. I can just put a little caulking in there, rub it, rub it in, I, I like to rub it in, then you don't see a caulking line. Oh yeah, there, there's where he patched the wall or the ceiling, it's right there. Because he put it on and with a putting knife, just flattened it out. No, I, I kind of rub it right into the, to the hairline crack, you know? And then I'll put 
two coats of flat paint over it right in there blend it all in this has just been freshly painted so i know it's gonna it's gonna blend in nice right there okay and so i'll be able to fix that and 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 i thought i thought the coaxial cable thing was going to be what was going to be the trickiest thing here i mean we still got we could still got these countertops to rip out new counters uh, are going to be installed and they're supposed to measure all this stuff and make it fit prior to us pulling all this off yeah good luck with that i have a feeling after they install it they're gonna to have to come back here and tweak it or do something who knows um you know oh they're supposed to be good good uh tile or good countertop measure guys you know with their templates and all that kind of stuff so we'll see we'll see what happens with that but i am so glad that i figured out where this leak is coming from in at the uh, tub of dimes to donuts it's got to be right there in that corner where the black mold was and where that motor is and we'll we'll see we'll see once i turn it on run it through a cycle and stuff it's got to be coming right from there yeah now i know i went on and on and showed you all kinds of different things but the more i talk the more you have the possibility to learn so hopefully when you watch one of my videos watch it the whole thing through because you never know what i'm going to say i never know what i'm going to say okay but yeah, i'm sure you'll be able to pick up snippets along the way about wow i'm i'm glad i watched that whole thing because i wouldn't have known three minutes into it four minutes into it i was going to learn something that i really needed to know thanks video joe